the Weather Authority, meteorologist Francis Payton. Well, good Wednesday morning. It is 450 early this morning. We're starting off the temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s. We currently have 57 in the Richmond area. Our winds moving in from the southwest and they'll continue to do so. So we're looking at a really warm day today. High temperatures will be in the upper 70s. Even some of us seeing those low to mid 80s. The mid 80s getting closer to the Virginia North Carolina border. But then check this out how we quickly drop off into the low 70s later this afternoon and evening. And that's to the chance of seeing a few storms. So we have a chance of seeing a couple storms early this morning, as well as another round that we'll be tracking for later this afternoon, as well as this evening. Currently, however, starting off with dry uh, of dry conditions throughout central Virginia and the Piedmont. However, we're watching this boundary line. So this is just the outflow of the storms that are moving throughout the Ohio Valley. That's what will be impacting us by about eight to nine o'clock early this morning. But just zooming in on the action throughout northern Virginia and the DC area, they do have a severe thunderstorm warning issue throughout those locations. I wouldn't rule out a couple warnings early this morning. Our greatest threats to the area, that's going to be some damaging wind gusts. I also wouldn't rule out the potential for seeing some large hail for this morning as well as this afternoon's activity. And then we have another chance or, uh, for throughout the midday hours for tomorrow. Once again, the same threats looking at damaging wind gusts and the potential for seeing large hail tomorrow. So let me take you through it hour by hour. As that boundary starts to move closer towards the Richmond area, it's going to start to fizzle out. And then we're looking at dry conditions throughout the lunchtime hours. However, then we have another chance as a weak cold front's going to swing throughout the area. As it does, we do have the potential of seeing a few isolated storms, timing that out between about four to seven o'clock this evening. And then we're looking dry for the overnight hours tonight until our Thursday midday cold front. This will be a stronger cold front that's actually going to knock temperatures back down into those 60s. But seeing that early, excuse me, around nine o'clock to noon, that's what you can expect for Thursday. Still, however, plenty of warmth is going to be in sight. Looking at high stay once again in the 80s, dropping down into the 70s for our Thursday, but we're gonna actually cool down significantly once again due to that Thursday cold front. Temperatures in the 60s for Friday as well as the weekend. Kristen? All right.